Welcome back to Sunrise. Did Mr. May, you were making a point. Please yes, yes. He's referring to paragraph 20. He read only subparagraph 2. Look at subparagraph 3. What did he say? A retired officer can be a member of that. And that retired officer carries the aura of higher person. Take, for instance, if the CJN is involved, a former CJN is a senior. And the former CJN will be a chairman of that body. Simple. That's what the rule is saying. Do you have that understanding? But no, no, no. That's what they... But, but my, mind you, the Constitution now has... Well, excuse me. Okay. Please excuse yes, me. Subparagraph 3 mm -hmm. of paragraph 20 is saying a retired officer in ranking is senior to whoever is a part in the present position. So if the CJN is involved, a former CJN becomes the chairman because the former CJN in the ranking in the NJC even though yes, the yes, CJN you, you is a chair. Point yes. Yes. But, but what I'm, I'm saying, you now, unfortunately, you have that understanding? unfortunately, that's what I'm saying, unfortunately, now the constitution itself, paragraph 20, I think sub -deed, has prohibited the retired CJNs to be members of the JSC. So how can they, Did how, you can, they, Let's, how can they come through, bring that, uh, 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 the provision of the constitution now prohibits, I stand to be corrected, that none of the retired CJN can be member of the NGC. But can so, you have can you have can you have a um, suspended CJN and an acting CJN at the same time? Does our laws apply uh, allow for, for that provision? Of course. Look, look. The, the you, you, you you are looking at it from this perspective. You don't look like it. When you step aside, what does that mean? There should not be a vacuum, because even the constitution under paragraph twenty of the third kid would now contemplated a situation whereby, look, if for any reason that the president, uh, the CJN is not, for example, sitting in JSC, NGC, it says that the next most senior Supreme Court judge, uh, justice should preside. But what did this, uh, the, 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 the current CJN did? He now, he now in a way, now so changed I'm, the rule. What I'm trying to say, let me land, 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 after the constitution has given the next most senior justice of the Supreme Court to preside over JSC. Now, this 2017 regulation that was made by, under the uh, supervision of the uh, Honorable Justice Onayi, now said, look, they now choose one among them. Now, remember, in JSC, NJC, I mean, the, it is the CJN that now takes, uh, I mean, appoints 19 out of 24. So if you are going to come into the Constitution, no, 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 look, no, we don't understand it like that. It's not the CJN that appoints, it is it's the, neglected. Is, is the, uh, 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 yes. the court is, but, does that, yeah. not the CJN himself. So, His only uh, uh, function there is to recommend it to, to what I the, say. So, to so, so what I say. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you are asked a very good question. Does our Constitution contemplate suspended and acting? And Why not? Time? Excuse me. This law, we don't just, law is not expediency. If we work with expediency all through, then we are in danger. The law is regulated. The constitution is that. This constitution was not made for any person. Is that to regulate the society? How a judge or citizen or head of court will be treated is well stipulated. It does not uh, contemplate a hangover does not do that but and then, what yeah. about those who argue saying look that if you look at section 11 of the interpretation act it gives the president the powers to either remove or suspend him so in that oh case God. It's oh is that God. the case no 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 section the interpretation act with respect that it is part of the constitution no but it's not the same thing as when the constitution has stipulated what it ought to do you now run to uh, interpretation act no that is wrong Take for instance, the Interpretation Act, what was it doing when INEC under Electoral Act em encompassed all so many conditions for, regulation, for uh, uh, registering a, a political party? What did the law say? What did the court say? No, the, co the provision of the Constitution is supreme. So, it doesn't, going far to go and import it is for expediency. That is for different purposes altogether. Not when the constitution has stipulated graphically how it's going to be done. 
when there is no need of looking here and there, you must just follow the constitution. The constitution has atomized separation of power, section 6, read together with 153, and then 158, which he was referring to, that said, when these bodies stipulated, INEC and all the rest of them, mm -hmm. about 12 of them that I, that I stated in section 153, when these bodies are, three of them were selected under section 158 to say when they are operating, no interference. Then you move to section 292, which now said, after NJC has finished its work under Schedule 3, you now move into section one, two, two, 292. And then you, look, you talk about the, 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 the Senate and all the rest of them. So, have not this is properly specified. Running round to leave it and running to CCT is totally wrong. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ali, and most yes, importantly, okay. Okay, when even the CCT, the CCT yeah. crippled itself. How? It crippled itself when at the city you know, open, everybody has been invited. Everybody is already before it. It's not the issue of that the Onege or his team were not around. We were there on 22nd, the CCT adjourned to 28th. I mean, there are certain things you cannot do. So what becomes... After, after 28, you, yeah, you, you, yeah. before 28... What then happens following the adjournment date? If they reconvene today, what yeah. would they be determining? Today? Having granted... Uh, having Have had the no, 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 that, no, 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 that no. argument. That is one aspect... Without fair hearing. This, is, oh, the, one, let this is one aspect out of many things that they are going to do in court. Uh -huh. One, there is an issue of jurisdiction, which in my opinion... The judge was even wrong to have even said that he was going to entertain the application without the defendant in court because it is very clear here it under section two hundred ninety-six. Which defendant was not in court? On, yes, he was on, not in on court the on the twenty-second. Yes, he was not in court on the first day. He was not in court and the twenty-second. He was not in court. He ought to be in court before he will listen to. In fact, he cannot be come to the tribunal. Hold on, hold on. He cannot be come to the tribunal. The so the tribunal has said. Hold on. The question is. Yes. yes. When they meet today, or when they meet in court, mm. can the decision to suspend the CGN, can it be upturned? It's like asking me, when I'm, I'm robber, has taken the money away and gone, and you're asking him to bring it back, just voluntarily. I do not know how it's going to be done. One, there is challenge to jurisdiction. You have already assumed the jurisdiction and then the damage has already been done. What are we doing? I don't see somebody... If the damage who, is done, can it be un, undone? Of course it will be undone. Yes. Of course it will be undone. Of course it will be undone. But then... The damage has been done. No, no, let, let, let me tell you. Of course it will. But I doubt, I doubt if it will be done by that CCT. One... The correct position is the chairman ought to excuse himself. Which uh, chairman? Yeah, the CCT chairman. CCT chairman. Because what, what he has done, he has given an order? what he has done, no. What he has done, it has happened is, so many times. Judges given order and they reverse themselves. If what he has done, works, I, I mean, but, but let me tell you, I don't see. I, 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 don't, I don't think that the last okay. end okay. of the whole thing. Yeah. You see, that it is not fair to just say simply because. An ex party order has been given as if the whole world is, I mean, the heaven is falling. Look, mind you, there is still a pending application that is motion or notice oh, for the judge, which under the ACGA, if you have this kind of applications, and then if the judge says, Look, motion or notice, or motion of the matters, motion or notice on the issue of, of the injunction, still, if okay. for example, because he has adjourned to take all together, that is before the ex party order now. At the same time, what it says that if, for example, the Court of Appeal decides that, okay, you proceed, what will happen? The two applications will be taken, but the isn't, isn't, must there, be isn't there a Court of Appeal decision for the CCT to stay action and not entertain the But the order was given before the order. So, so you can order. see the way. So the you can see the way. On, on, on the 23. That you is from what I've seen. Yeah. And the, from the what I've seen. But the, 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 was it 23? Because the I court met adjourned on the 22nd. Yes. The court met on 22nd. Adjourned to 28. To 28, yes. Then on 24. Yes, we were, it was given on 23 from the order. On 24. Yes. But, but, but look at this scenario. Eh? While we were arguing on 22nd, the attention of the court, of the tribunal, was called to the fact that 20, 24, the court of appeal will be sitting. 
And the court even said he can only take order from Court of Appeal, mm -hmm. not from any other court. Yeah. But he was told that on 24, Court of Appeal will be sitting on this issue of jurisdiction. What was he supposed to have done? What he's supposed to have done was to sit where? Because he said he can only look up to Court of Appeal. And he was told that 24 were there. Then, how can you have been told that 24, Court of Appeal will be sitting on this issue? You now, you having voluntarily adjourned to 28 and then looking forward to 24, you now render the court ruling nuggetry by going to 23rd to give an expert order. Let me ask you quickly now. Yes, please. Concerning this ex parte order, I understand the life lifespan is what, two weeks? Yeah. So at the end of two weeks, what happens? Well, I don't know. Ask the court. I don't know. But you see, there is a pending. I'm sure it must be resolved. And you must look at something where I think uh, we need to be very careful. The, uh, the issue of the appeal, look at the speed. There are cases now that are taken over 10 years. That is the speed with which the CCT looked at it? Or not which even one? CCT. Not even CCT. The Court of Appeal. Look, that is one of those things that makes me fear in the judicial system of this country. Are you questioning the are speed you? with which this matter was also... I should have questioned. The CCT as well? well or the CCT. just the Court of Appeal? Yes. The, what, the, the, what is the speed about the CCT's uh, uh, um, uh, please, issue? Please, excuse me. Eh? I want to refer you something. You see, we cannot be saying two things in the, from different directions. If you take up my book, The Sentinel of Justice, there is this matter that was happened in London. One on Friday... Somebody went there to ask the Attorney General, give me order so that I can prosecute somebody in South Africa, when the issue of South Africa. The, court, the Attorney General refused. He moved to court, to, to higher court immediately, the same day, and went to court, high court. High court said, no, I can't give you this order. From there, he moved to court of appeal the same day, and on Saturday, Lord Dennis sat and gave him the necessary order. You're talking the normal system. Oh, what is happening oh, in Nigeria? So, so, what is happening in system, Nigeria? Then, 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 what is happening in Nigeria? Then investigation by code of conduct on the 7th, uh, charge on the eighth, arraignment on the ninth, uh, on the on the on the tenth. What is the big deal there? What, what, okay, just yeah, no, we have our colleague uh, because we we still have um, uh, the section three hundred six, I think, of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, and yes. then the section forty of the EFCC Act also yes. that helps to enable cases to go speedily without stopping. So yes. why why was this in the process and then it was so why are they questioning us? Are you over speeding it? No, you are getting the ex parte. Are you over speeding the process by getting an ex parte? When it suits them, they say no. 